our bus is already here. Go Flex Bus. The only question is, which one is ours? Because there are many. <laughs> Usually the last train for Amsterdam leaves at 8 p.m. which means like if you want to be on time you need to leave for your hotel to pick up your stuff at 4 p.m. then go to Gare du Nord, la 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 and you lose half a day in Paris and now it's 12 a.m. and we had a whole day. It's 3.30, break time. Can you hear these birds? They're way too early. What kind of birds are awake at 3.30? Oh well. I know we're definitely not in the Netherlands, but is this France or is it Belgium or Germany? The suspense is building. If you're thinking, girl, what's wrong with you? Just look outside and, you know, when the bus is driving <laughs> and see where you are. No, I'm sleeping. The rocking of the bus like makes me fall asleep in a minute or something. I'm just looking if they have crazy crack because then we're so in France. But I don't see any crazy crack. If you don't know what crazy crack is, you should watch the French snacks tasting video. Okay, I guess we're in the Netherlands. Okay, the result is in. We're in Belgium. I asked the girl at the cash register. Ah, uh, almost home. 45 minutes to go. We're now in Utrecht. One thing I also really like about Flixbus is we have only one stop before going to our end stop, Amsterdam. Whoop! Amsterdam! Thank you, Flixbus, for the ride. Yeah, but I'm stressed out. Since I left the city, you. <laughs> <laughs> clip, clip, clip in the outro. Wow, boy, you left that. He used to call me on my cell phone. Oh, you know when you need my love. Call me on my cell phone. So this is what I bought in Paris. I can't go into a Lush store without buying something and this time I bought bath bomb yognog. This one smells so good, I'm going to save it for Christmas. Cinders, which is my ultimate favorite. Uh, this is also really cute. It's actually for kids. It's a cold baby bot, I think. It smells also really nice, like lavender. This one, these two are very warm, so this one, Cinders, of course, has cinnamon. And this one, I don't know, it's like warm vanilla eggnog kind of thing. This is Shoot for the Stars, also a very sweet smell. And this one, I haven't seen before. This is Butter Bear. I think it's also for kids, but I think it looks so cute and it smells really nice. Finally, I bought these lace-up heels at Mongo as well. I was looking for these kind of heels for a very long time because I want my toes to be seen, I don't want the heel to be high, but I don't want it to be too low. And also I wanted some support around my ankle because it's just most comfortable in heels. Also, I love like this lace-up stuff. They're like they're very very comfortable even though the heel doesn't look you know you know that those heels they are like this I don't think they're very sexy so when I buy heels I want a nice curve um, on my foot and these have them without being uncomfortable they're really really nice I love them oh my gosh I'm having such a gossip girl moment who remembers that scene where Blair is in the bathtub eating la dure macarons yes got it on lockdown also I'm going to put in shoot for the stars in my bathtub from Lush oh, I love this smell it's also one of my favorites mm, yeah and you should always shoot for the stars never compromise baby so this is going in ah! Wee. Ah, this is 
so nice. Is it blasphemy to touch it? You should just let it have it on me. This is so much fun, like playing with the bath bomb. I don't know if this is a bath bomb. I don't honestly know the differences between all the lash products. I just know you put it in the bathtub or not. Yeah, Christmas countdown with Harry Potter. So this is the Philosopher's Stone we're starting today and we try to finish all the eight movies before Christmas. I'd like that to be a tradition. I've been doing it for the past two years. Also, this goat cheese crisps. Oh, and freaking G, I need this in Amsterdam. Oh my gosh, I love the French retro. What? What? 